Hello, this is L, and speaking of L's, this is Bell's Castle Winter Celebration, set number 43180, with about 230 pieces, and I'm gonna sit here and try and review this set. And to be honest, I've kind of been looking at it and thinking about it for a really long time, and just kind of struggling, do I really like it? Do I like it? Or is it something that I'm not a big fan of? And I really struggled with this one, and I'm still kind of unsure, but I figured let's jump in it. Maybe I'll have a better consensus after I'm done talking about it. So this is a 4 plus set, and maybe that's the big reason why I have difficulties with it. Because I don't think I've built any sort of 4 plus set of this size. Um, I know that's not for me. I'm probably a lot older than 4. Um, I think. I hope. Um, but uh, it's just... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's, it's interesting. So let's get into it. First of all, we got extra pieces here. A couple of note. We have our cracked cup character we have one of these like wind up things and we have one of these white poops or ice creams or shells or snow or cream most of the rest isn't really that special so, a couple of the little accessories we'll take a look at first. We have this book, which has this really nice print in here of Once Upon a Time. Um, and that is a print on a 1x2. Everything in here is a print. There are no stickers, which is nice. Um, I would have liked to have something on the cover of the book, but that's alright. And then we have our friends here. We have, I don't remember, Cogsworth probably. The Clock. And it's a small, nice, simple build. You do have the um, little wind-up thing. I would have preferred it to be centered, but it looks all right. Um, also a printed piece, of course. Looks really nice and crisp. Um, then we have our furniture cabinet here. And again, a nice print there. Um, these doors are the first time in this color in here. Opening that up, we just have a crown in there. Just kind of nice how they build this with a brick here and then a window so it's like you can actually open and put some stuff in there even though there's not any shelves. Just a nice print there. We also have this little accessory stand with like perfume and a mirror, although the mirror isn't shiny. Again, that's a printed part. And in here we have just a brush and a hair accessory there. We also have this, which is a little out of place. It's a snowball catapult. Um, I guess maybe sometimes it's it's fun to have a catapult shooting snow. Just like that. Pretty simple little build. I do like how it correlates to being snow and isn't just like awkward colors that don't make sense. And you get a couple of these snowball type pieces. Camera, please stay there. Thank you. Um... Yep, just a couple of those. Interesting piece. You also get this cake, which is actually in the back. Just one of their kind of typical cake builds here. And we'll take this guy off this pedestal here. And we have the candle guy. Why I can't remember their names, I don't know. But again, that's a print. It's also kind of like a Aladdin's lamp look. And I think it's a pretty good... Yeah, pretty good build for him. Silly face. Also a nice flame piece, now getting quite common, especially with extras. So let's take a look at our beast. And here we go. There he is. That is the beast. And he has a very nice print for his face, I think at least, in the coloring and such. You can give him a bow if you so choose. Um, nice print on the torso. I'll take that off. However, the prints don't go as well behind because usually on the 4 Plus and smaller sets, they don't do the printing too much on the back. But we do have that nice purple cape. 
and he does have hair in the set which I believe is on display in it and we'll take a look at that um, overall simple face and let's take a look at a bell, of course. Uh, very nice uh, look for the dress on the print. The hair is the same hair they've used in a couple of her sets and a couple other ones. Very nice face. I don't know what it is about it. It's just very nice. It is the standard smile. I do wish for some more emotion. In fact, you know what would have been great? Would have been Beast having an angry face. Or even on his beast face. Just really angry. He looks kind of puppy dogish actually. Um, but that would have been nice to have on there. My only complaint is that the prints don't carry around at all. Um, I one day want to see a dress that has a print all the way around it. I think that would look really nice. Or at least a skirt piece. So really nice bell figure. There's also this throne build, which is very interesting, actually. And it actually works, as you saw before I picked the figure up. And you see how they build it up like that, and you just kind of sit them down there, have their legs out that. The only problem is the having the weird studs is kind of awkward there. But it works. It's got a little stand there. The other thing, too, is, and if you check out the parts review, that should be up already. We got a dark red heart piece, which is fantastic. Um... But yeah, just a little throne side build. So let's take a look at our actual castle. Now, first up, you'll look, everything is a print. If you see it, it's a print. Um, so just looking at this, it's kind of a nice look. Just, just kind of looking at it. You know, you kind of have snow built up on the railings here and up there. Except that this is kind of weird because there's no place to go up there. So I don't know how I feel about that, but you got a nice look here. These doors do open, and inside you can see a table in there. Very nice opening. I like how they did the door handles here. Um, but let's take a closer look at each part because it is not built the best. Um, so here we have just a little tower area, and that is a very nice print. We got a snowman in the back there. Um, and I actually really, for how simple this is, I really like this rose there. Um, it just looks really nice. Um, it's a simple build too. And let's take a look at the other side of this part. So down here, obviously this is going to be Belle's bed or what she uses as a bed. Um, and we also get this, which is one of the highlights of the set, to be honest which is a little blue bird. Really tiny piece, but really cute. I really like it. Um, you can only get the blue variant in a modular building, which is like three times as much as this set. Um, so cute little bird. Doesn't really have a place to go though. There's not many real brick places to go. Has some nice parts here. You can see a little window there. Otherwise you have that rose just there and not really any usable space there. And like I said, they do have a way it kind of connects on a hinge, but it's very loose and I don't I don't know why they did that like that. Cuz as you can see it's really easy to pull off. So on this side, we have another print here for a window. Lots of these lavender cylinder parts. Then we have a nice kind of simple tree build there, which I actually really like and imagine except for this part. Um, imagine that snow has kind of capped the top of the tree or it's falling off. My one complaint with this section is I, I don't know why they didn't just finish that section. That's literally how it's built. I don't know why there's not another tower here or something. Yeah, I don't really get that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like a balcony, but like they use all these gold... I don't know. That's kind of a confusing part. In here is actually where it suggests storing the book, which is actually kind of a really nice little place. It doesn't clip in or anything, but it's a very nice little place for a book, and it's not something I've ever thought of. Um, so that's kind of actually cool. That, like I said, I don't quite understand that. In here we have basically a little fireplace furnace. Very, very simple. Nothing too complicated in there. There's some trans uh, orange cones in there. Nothing really special going on there, to be honest. So let's flip this around. Or not. We'll look at the front again. 
Um, so it looks really nice. It is a nice print. This is one large piece and the door handles and everything, it does look really nice. And one thing that I really tend to stare at on this set is that middle painting. I just, I don't know. It just looks awesome. Um, yeah, it just really is a nice print. Very nice print. Looks really good. Um, I don't know. It's a really nice piece. I have to say that is a really nice piece. Um, you'll have to let me know if you feel the same way. I think it's a really good print. Um, better than the window printing on all over it. One of the cool things is they do kind of have sparkly snow all over. But we'll take a look at this side. Nothing really going on here. And here, like I said, is uh, Beast's hair, which is kind of on the statue. Whoops. You didn't see that set over there. Put that back. The One of the cooler builds is this chandelier, actually. Even though it's really simple, um, you can use that technique to kind of make it a little bit better. Um, I don't like this simple connection. I, I'm, I don't know. It bothers me. Um, on the back, a part that constantly comes off is this little table here. Um, and you can see our characters are there. When those, again, are prints. This is where they have that cake. There's another cake there. Some frosty, probably chocolate cappuccinos or drinks or something. Just a simple little table that's supposed to clip on here, but it falls off so easily. So let's kind of put these all back here so we can kind of look at the back here. Actually, they go in closer. So, it, it really doesn't look good from, from this side. <clears throat> Um, it might be all this there, but I think that doesn't necessarily become an issue if there's more to the castle. I just feel this, this feels like a really small set with not a whole lot of play to it. I don't know. I, I'm just not a big fan of this one. <clears throat> um, as a look like that, it's not too bad. <clears throat> I don't know what to think about it. I'm still really on the on the fence on this one because I really wanted to like this one, but for some reason I just kind of feel disappointed because of how small it feels. And I, you know, you see these they they don't they aren't attached very well. Um, now this is a four plus set, so maybe I'm criticizing it too much. Maybe you got to look at it like that. There are unique parts in here, quite a bit of them. Um, check out the parts review. Um, that print is incredible. I'll never get over that. Um, one of the best prints I think I've seen, um, on a piece. I don't know why they did it on that curved, like, car hood piece. But, yeah, I love the figures. The figures are great. Um, I don't know. The winter effect kind of limits the use for the window pieces. So it kind of struggles on that. I haven't really had a loss on this one, everyone. Um, I mean, it's it's a $50 set, which I think is a little high. I think if it was reduced a bit, I might be a bit more happier with it. I, I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It looks simple. Um, the figures are great. The prints are great. Even though, like I said, the winter windows kind of have issues. The build, Some of the build parts are great. Some of them are terrible. Um, oh, I've been talking a long time on this simple review. Um, it might be something where you pick up the parts that you like, or, you know, it's not a bad Christmas gift to get someone or to get. If you're a big fan of Beauty and the Beast, this might be something you just want to get anyway. Um, I think as a display piece, it's not too bad. I mean, you got some nice prints on it. It's not fantastic just because it is for four plus. So the detail isn't necessarily there. It just doesn't feel built very well for a 4 plus set, actually. You know, for a kid that would be playing with this, you know, stuff doesn't, you know, I don't know. There's not a whole lot to play on either. You have lots of little accessories and stuff, but I'm going to leave this at a, I'm not sure yet. Um, in Or in the middle, neutral. It's not great. It's not bad. Um, it's not something I'm excited about, you know, that I was like, oh, I want to get more you know, or something like that. Um, 
I mean, if you want the figures, you might want to just order those online, but they are kind of expensive. If this gets discounted, it'll probably be a great set to pick up. If you like this lavender color, definitely really a lot of those. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of on the middle on this one. I'm not sure why. Um, let me know what you think in the in the comments. But that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Um, pretty much in the middle on this. Not 100% sure even yet. But uh, if you've watched this far, thank you for watching. And I really want to know your opinion on it from what I've shown you. And if you've checked out the parts review already. Um, let me know what you think about the set. If it's one you would pick up or not. Or if you like how it looks and all the different stuff with that. However, the bell figure is really awesome. So thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed my indecisive video. And we will see you in the next video.